There's the segment, but not today. So I don't need to tell you that I'm out in the forest and running. Well, I just did, but uh, it's amazing when you actually just stop and look around and you see how much life there is around you. You know, there's so many different birds and I mean, yeah, I guess just birds. So no Strava segment attempts today. Just keeping it nice and easy. Maybe do a little bit longer. So just wanted to analyze a little bit of that footage from when I was doing that segment attempt. It was quite interesting to see how much my arms moved around when I was going faster. And that's something maybe I need to work on because, you know, it's expending energy that you don't really need to. Yes, you need to have the propulsion so the drive back drives the other knee forwards, but uh, a little bit of flailing around, which then causes some rotation and uh, something to just look out for. To be honest, it's not so bad. I have had someone look at it, the physio on the treadmill at some fast speeds and low speeds, but you know, always looking to improve. And that's why I recommend maybe sometimes you go out there and record, get someone with you and record yourself running different angles, different speeds. Just have a look and you can see your progress. It really does help. Yesterday was a medium long run and same as today. So it was back to back medium long runs. But hey, you're wondering, hey, you didn't do a long run yesterday. You did that Strava segment. That's true. Yesterday, I didn't actually film a video. And that's because I had a little bit of tightness around the hip flexor and quadricep area. And uh, look, I'm in no rush. There's no race and uh, best to play it safe when it comes to you know, it's rehabbing from having something that has lasted for quite a while. So I just sacked it off and did lots of stretching, lots of foam rolling, lots of mobility, and just rested. I think that's super important. It's not just about always ticking off the workouts, the sessions, but make sure to get some time outdoors, which is what I did. Had a little bit of a bike ride. And did I walk? No, I didn't. I've got a couple of pieces of news to share with you. They're both to do with running and my current situation as well. And they obviously do change a little bit, a few things. So, and it also opens up some doors for us to explore. So I'm quite excited about it in a way. It's always one of those things. There's so much change going on at the moment. You just got to think about it. Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? And if it's a bad thing, make it a good thing. Welcome back. So we got a smoothie after the run, of course. Get rehydrated, lots of fresh nutrients. Pineapple juice, mango, ginger, uh, lemon juice, and basil. So super refreshing. And uh, yeah, let's get into some of that news. But before actually, the run was really good. 15 kilometers and one and a half hours. Average heart rate, 130 beats per minute. Obviously link for Strava's down below and some of the details are there and felt really good the body felt good maybe a little bit of tightness but i made sure i did a big stretch just then uh, i'm trying to progress my running uh, in many levels and one of those steps that i took to do that is by getting a running coach and obviously with the situations that are going on you know events being cancelled and me losing my job i guess that's a bit of a significant one so there's a little bit less income coming into the bank account uh, that I have decided to uh, stop working with uh, Hillary unfortunately and uh, just go buy it by myself like there's there's multiple different levels on it and the the amazing thing is that you know there's 
such a big butterfly effect from these sort of actions, you know, coronavirus, me losing a job, obviously people, health is the most important thing, but then, you know, me losing my job affects something else and you know, it just goes to show how much it can affect things. So the sooner we can get out of this, the sooner we can kind of, you know, start thriving again. But yeah, I think it's quite big news in a way, but also at the same time, I'm just gonna take it and in my stride and I think it's maybe some good timing. It gives me time to kind of just not have a plan and just be a little bit more free to do certain different things. And I've got some exciting adventures coming up and plans that obviously I'm gonna to bring to the channel, bring some, hopefully some really good content and things that I want you to be involved with as well. So be sure to be subscribed and check uh, the community tab because I will be asking for your help and maybe even get some video clips from you. Okay, so I just wanted to go through the Strava Runners Club, just another runners club, and go through the last week's leaders. So Kazukiko Sugawara, well done, did 177 kilometers, awesome. Remco, just round the corner from me, did 170. And Jonathan Van Goons, I actually did uh, Ultra Trail Snowdonia last year with him, 160 kilometers. Awesome. With total running time, we have Guillermo O'Leary. No, uh, Oleo did 25 hours and a half running. That's pretty good. And uh, climbing wise, George Coca. Dinos did 2,541 meters of elevation climb. Well done. Come on, guys. You guys, Can someone like a Rob Smith or Andrew Davis get like the top time? Make it so much easier for me to read, read the names out. <laughs> I'm only joking. But well done to everybody there in that top list there. And currently, <laughs> we're one day in. 16 hours in in Finland. And Jukka Kukkonen's already done 37 kilometers. That's pretty good. But yeah, just wanted to quickly get uh, those people in because they've worked hard for it and just give them a little bit of recognition. So well done to everybody who made it there and anybody who just went out for a run and is just having some fun as well. Mm -hmm.